Let's get it, stream. All right, Rob Byleth. Let's get it. Not quite sure what I expect from this matchup, but um, I think it will kind of be a little scrappy because they both got a lot of range. They're going to try, kind of try to be counter poking each other. The double side B from Perk, really gaming out here. Pickle getting a little greedy. Perk doing a really solid job of keeping uh, Pickle locked down with this gyro. Pickle doesn't seem to know how to deal with it or just respecting it a lot. This match is right. I feel like that's where most of his mileage is coming from. You took a 2 let's go. Ooh, Pickle weaving around that. I'm really surprised he made it back from that. That was really scary. Scary for Perk, too. That down air was mad close. The run up side B. Classic Rob. Everyone gets hit by one. Ooh, nice catch on the landing. Burke's got to be really careful about that. There are some situations where even Rob can't contest because of those disjoints, especially on Byleth. Still don't really want to interact like too heavily. Um, they aren't scrap like scrapping as much as I thought they would. Yeah. Pickle definitely showing he's not afraid to swing. Definitely making Perk give him some respect. He has the spot in bracket though. Damn, Pickle's still keeping it really close. Getting a lot of damage off of just stray hits, which is what Byleth really strives at. Any Byleth knowledge you want to drop, Auk? Maybe uh, some niche matchup right. tips? Versus Rob, there's not really a whole lot, but what I can say is that up air, if uh, you ever see a Rob above you at all, will beat out in air. Uh, as long as he doesn't get too high with it. Yeah, we saw him kill Perk with the up smash earlier. Just nared right into it. Yeah, I'd rather go for up air, just to be safer, but if he's making it work, then... Yeah, definitely, definitely looks... Like, Perk is winning a lot of these exchanges, but Pickle is getting so much mileage out of, like, long-range stray hits. Perk's already at 100. So, like, right here, if he up aired, it would have beat not only the gyro, but it would have killed him. I'm definitely not seeing a lot of these Rob edge guards we're used oh, to seeing. Well, my, my B stream, my B. My B stream, my B. But outside of that last stock, um, Other way. Other way. yeah, you're right, you're right. The the grapple is putting in a lot of good work. Yeah. Really. Counter picks. Pretty easy to avoid. Here, I've got it. Um, Yoshi's Town, Kalos, or Northern Cave. That's fine. Just queue it up. You only get one of Kalos in Cave. I don't know what we're actually running, honestly. Yeah, that last game we saw, kind of what Rob's good at is uh, just running away with a lead that he, even if it didn't feel like he had a lead for the rest of the game, was able to just close it out really efficiently killed Pickle at like, what was it, 40 or 60? Mm -hmm. uh, that's what makes this matchup lean a little towards yeah. Rob. Well, Violet does have tools. Uh, sh they can't scrap for like anything. So the fact that Rob's a zoner and can scrap, it's just a double whammy for Violet. But if you're able to keep uh, Rob at that range, like with your lance and your sword, then it should not be that big of an issue to get around. But I For sure. Yeah, we're just not, Pickle's not getting like a lot of damage where it really counts here. And I think that's kind of what's 
uh, causing it to spiral out of control. What I also notice is he's not really grabbing. He's not forcing Kirk to react. I mean, to respect the 50-50 of, am I going to swing my sword or am I going to grab you and get some damage that way? He's just getting to hold shield for free. Yeah, he is holding center stage really well here. Uh, and not letting Rob play like the neutral he wants to. Which is how you should play against Rob. Uh, against most characters, but against Rob, you pour, put him in a corner so he doesn't have room to actually go around and zone you. Yeah, that Pickle is running away with this lead a little bit. We'll see if he's able to seal off this stock before Perk can get anything started. That's going to be really important in this matchup. Yeah, you need to... Oh. Ooh, that's Ooh. unfortunate. Yeah, one one wrong move in disadvantage will really ruin a whole match for you with Rob because Rob can turtle really well, and I'm I'm thinking we're gonna see a little bit of that. Burke is kind of going in on this advantage though, finding good parries, not being afraid of the multi hits. That's how you have to play against the Violet because all they really have um, to kind of. Ooh, love to see it. <laughs> that was nasty. That's not easy to hit on Rob. I think Byleth definitely can win this air-to-air -air game. Yeah. And, and we're seeing Pickle kind of take advantage of that, throwing out moves, like, mostly Nair really preemptively. Which, um, that is one saving grace. Byleth can air-to-air -air Rob very well. Yeah. His only real contentious move is um, forward air, but even then, if you lance, it beats it because, you know, you're right. a big-ass lance. Oh. Yeah, I am noticing that Perk is, he, he's not doing these dares, like, as he's rising, which is what makes him unsafe in a lot of situations. He's oh. saving it for the ground. Pickle evening that up really quick. That's two stocks with down air. One Perk. Great option coverage from oh, Perk. Big ass back air. Yeah, that's it. GG's, GG's. That'll, that'll happen sometimes. Yeah, good stuff to perk. Good stuff. Love to see.